Welcome back, glorious people of the interwebs. I spooked Ashley. We're doing a draft today, or a sealed. We're doing a sealed Modern Horizons. I figured this would be a fun way to kind of change up unboxings. So we're taking a sealed box, and uh, we're taking six booster packs out of it, and we're going to make a sealed deck. We're going to actually be able to play. And this is like... I think, in my opinion, a really good way to go through these boxes. So Ashley gets six packs, and I get six packs. We're going to make a sealed uh, Modern Horizons deck. And, <laughs> oh, she just creepily grabbed all of her stuff. That was that was a little disconcerting. Uh, but if you like this format for box openings and want to see more of these with more Modern Horizons or even uh, Corset 2020 and Kaldeheim when it comes out... Um, we will do that. So let us know in the chat. So we got six packs here. I'm going to open up my packs first, and then Ashley is going to open up hers. And then we'll, uh, we'll you know, record making the decks and then playing against each other. And it should be a good time. So, as many of you know, we're looking for specific cards in this wonderful box. Looking for Urza's. We already got the first sliver. And our first... Oh, land. Okay. Heliod's Generosity. You usually get one of those. So I'm just going to separate these things here. So we do a little bit of a box opening. Deck construction. And actually playing with the cards. I think it's perfect. It's a perfect plan. Nothing like this else on YouTube. Words are hard. The struggle is real. And we got Kess. The horrible, horrible $5 mythic. That is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers. Well, I guess. I don't know. So that's our fourth Mythic in the box. We did a live stream uh, with this previously. And we pulled four Mythics in that live... Or three Mythics in that live stream. So there's potentiality for one more in this box. Uh, Garbungo Rare, unfortunately. Ooh, I got some slivers. I got some slivers. Gonna make a sliver deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got the first sliver in our live stream, which was ridiculously good luck. And, ooh, okay, another Garbungo Rare. Unfortunately, not getting a lot of good stuff. She got really, really good cards in her last draft. Her seal just stomped all over my face, giggling like a schoolgirl. Oh my god, the whole time. This has, this has Urza in it. You can tell because Urza likes to seal the packs even more so than normal, so... BAM! Not Urza. But it is a Garbungo Rare. It's like a, what, like a 50 cent rare, I think? Well, that's woefully unfortunate. I bet she's gonna get Urza. Foil Urza. We haven't gotten a Foil Rare in the set. Or Foil Mythic! Ooh! <laughs> Force of Negation. It's going up to 30 bucks! So that is the best rare in the set. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my last pack. Now it's time for Ashley to show off her luck. Hello, weirdlings. It's my turn. All right, so we're going to start with the Urza. And, uh, yeah, I got super lucky. We did get a uh, foil uncommon. It wasn't great, but it was a deer, and I like deer. so Super deer. Super deer. Ooh, it's a shiny bit. I like shiny bits. All right, uh, I can't read upside down. So it says, reap the past. I don't know if that's good or not. So you're going to have to answer for me. At it's some not great. Point. Oh, great. <laughs> I didn't know if you were talking to yeah, me or no. them. I, I was going to be quiet for you. Like, cause you oh, no, for me. I figured you, well, you talk way more than I do when it comes down to that. Because you actually have more to say. <laughs> Let's be fair. Deep forest hermit. I've also... Mm. Probably sure that sucks, huh? It's a couple dollar rare. It's not oh, bad. Okay. Yeah, see, I demand you talk during my stuff because I don't know anything about the, the financial prices. Yeah, the financial I don't know side. anything about the prices. I'm just like, oh, look at this pretty card. Give me the pretty cards. Place them over there next to that one. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, I love this. Look, I got the spiteful sliver. Oh, God. It's my baby. I am the sliver queen. Just yes, FYI. She is. I love my slivers. They're my babies, just like my corgis and my Doberman. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, this is gonna happen. Oh my golly. Give it to me, please. All right. Ooh, I'm getting Giggity. lost. Ooh, it's another sliver. Or no, it's sorcery. Ooh, Damn it. Okay. But it's That's actually, we replaced the non foil one in your deck with that one, though. Oh. Keep, keep pimping it out. I've got a nice land here. Yeah. Ooh, okay, Horizon yeah. Therapy, nice. 
Or and, Horizon. Oh, Land. and I got Baron Moore, another land. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, the uncommon version. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. I'll take it. All right. And we got two more to go. Come on, baby. I do this way slower than he does. I'm sorry. But at least I talk more. <laughs> hey. Is that a foil echo of Aeons? That is a foil. That's our <laughs> first foil mythic. Foil echo of Aeons. I'm just going to not play with this Yeah, ever. that one's going to go over there. <laughs> um, let's not put it on the heat. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Me. I was just trying to get it out of the way. And that's our. That's the first time we've ever pulled a foil mythic. This is plain bound accomplice creature human wizard. I don't think I've ever actually seen that. And put you in your. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Echo of Aeons. I think I'm screwing everything up, and I'm doing it well. Would you like to know how much Echo of Aeons is in foil? Sure. Seventy nine dollars and thirty cents. Hey, my good luck finally pays off. Woot woot. Oh God. We're in the money. <laughs> Oh dear. I need that. Ooh, I got Unbound Flourishing Enchantment. Okay. It's a $7 mythic. I'll take it. I'm not going to so complain. So that was our final mythic, and that means we're not getting any mythics in the next packs. You say that, but you know how my luck works. True. All right. And that, my dear friends, is everything that we have. I've just, like, kind of all scooted everything over here. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just how I go. I'm just really excited because I got the sliver. And I know everyone's like, oh, God, slivers, but oh, God, slivers. And a very expensive rare. This speaks to me on a spiritual level. It happened so much. So I decided to run with a green and red deck. When I'm looking at a deck with these kind of drafts, I'm looking for cost-effective cards. Because when you build it, you're doing 20 creature cards and 20 land cards to make it as even as possible. So with green decks, if you noticed, all the cost cards are pretty much one mana plus a land. One mana plus another, in this case, land forest. And then with the red cards, you pretty much have the same thing. With red being like, hey, I want to, gotta go fast. Yeah, I went there. So I'm just going to be building around, building up as fast as possible with as much crap as I possibly can to make him cry. That's the game plan. Let's look at this. So I've decided to nix this particular artifact card, which just basically creates more dinosaurs, so that's bye-bye. And what I've put together is based around these two cards. Runation Rioter, which basically when it dies, it deals damage. Not so scary. And this one is returning X number of cards at random from your graveyard to your hand. Which means I need a way to get cards to my graveyard, which I have managed to do with my greens and with my reds. So the idea is that in order to make my creatures more powerful, I need to get them to the graveyard. And I think we're going to make that happen. Okay. I think I stand a little bit of a better chance this time than I did last time. I decided to go with three colors. I splashed black in here for uh, three cards uh, for Smiting Helix, which deals three damage and regens three life. And then I can uh, flashback it from the graveyard for a red and white, which is the main colors of the deck. Then I got um, these two here. So I got removal and life gain, potentially. And then this dude here, uh, that's flying, because I just wanted a flying creature in here. So I splashed three black. But the main deck is red and white so pretty much like creature fall but with red and white uh, i really wanted to go red or white green but i didn't find enough stuff so i ended up using quite a few slivers so these are the three main ones here so we've got uh first sliver chosen then the uh and what is this the enduring sliver and then um uh, yeah lancer sliver so those are the three of the good sliver cards. And we've got a couple other things in here like Answered Prayers, which is a good draft card, and uh, just some other stuff here that I think is gonna be pretty good together. Especially the red. The red is probably the best part of the deck, especially when combined with the slivers. So we got something to bring out more lands if we need to. And uh, it's gonna be, we got Goat Nap, the best card in the game. Stealing all the goats, there's not a single goat in the set, but I don't care. I'm gonna be stealing freaking goats for days. About that goat life, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have some fun. 
Okay, so we're gonna roll for high, see who goes first. And oh, God. Uh, we both rolled sixes, R of did course. We? Yeah, you did. Okay. Uh, three. God dang it. What? <laughs> three. One. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. I guess I will go first. And uh, we're gonna put lands below and uh, and the cards up top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That way, and we'll put the deck kind of off to the side there, and we'll see what we got here. Sweet baby Jesus, I should not keep this, but I'm gonna. Sweet. You're gonna win first, but it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Uh, planes go. Mountain. Firebolt go. Take two damage. What? <laughs> Already? <laughs> God. Okay. Uh, down to 18. I'm good. Firebolt! I'm gonna need one. Oh, I got one. I got it. Okay. Um, good lord. Oh, no. I just, okay. I see how it is. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Schwamp. Got that schwamp a schwamp. She's way too excited over there. It's not good. What you got? Nope. Rim Tender. Okay. At any point, I can tap this to tap target snow permanent. Oh, perfect. Thank God I don't have any snow permanents out. Okay, my yeah, turn. Yeah, it is a good thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus. All right, um, finally. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this now. So I'm going to tap three for Martyr's Soul. I like this. Oh, see yeah, it. that's actually a smarter idea. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can't convoke him, but uh, so he's at three, two. Okay. And I'm going to pass. Sweet. My turn. <sighs> well, I can't really do much anyway, so here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna tap that. I'm gonna use Urza's Rage right now. Yeah. Gonna get rid of Martyr's Soul. So it was a deal two damage? Yeah, deals two damage. Okay. Or three, actually. Three damage. Okay. And then I'm going to attack you for two. Okie dokie. Going down to 16. Blam. Now it's your turn. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, well, I'm going to play a mountain. And I'm gonna tap three for Lancer Sliver. And all my slivers have first strike. Neat. And I'm gonna pass. All right, heart of the cards. It's the eye of the sliver. It's the murderous rage. <laughs> my sliver's gonna get Spiteful burned. sliver! No! <laughs> slivers, sliver creatures you control have, look, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to read this. Whenever this creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target player or a planeswalker. Yep. Angry slivers. And what is that, a 2 2? Yep. Okay. Carry on, sir. Carry on my way, words. Actually, sliver. no, that's your turn. Okay. I can't take it back now. No backsies. Um, I am going to play a planes. And then, and only then, am I going to play the ultimate card? Is it Goat Nap? It's Goat Nap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your sliver. Okay. I'm going to turn it into a goat. You can't. No, that's not how that. I know it's not, but okay. I have dreams, okay? Don't, okay. Don't crush my dreams. I have a dream. Don't crush my dreams. Against haste until the end of the turn. And then I'm going to swing at you for a four. I can deal with that for now. Okay. Boop. My little 16. My turn. Girl. There you go. Merry Thanks. Christmas. You can have your goat back. Nah. <laughs> I want my goat back, goat back, baby. All right, then. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play Weather the Storm. So we're going to do that first. Weather the Storm. You gain three life. But I make a copy of it for every... You didn't cast any other spells this turn. It's not this turn. Copy it for each spell cast before in this turn. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, well. Reading take... is hard. It is. You'll have to forgive me. Fine, whatever. In that case, screw you. I'm gonna cast Pyrophobia. Deals three damage to target creature. I'm giving my creature immunity no, to no, red. No, I'm not. What? No. Chill. Fine. Because cowards can't block this turn. Yeah. <laughs> so you may do that, but you still can't block. Yeah, so it's not dying, but it's not gonna block. <laughs> it can't block this turn. So I'm what this does is uh, gives target creature protection. I get to draw a card as well. Draw your card. Bloop. But I'm swinging at you now. Yes. For four. Four, four. I go down to 12. That says 13. That's 12. There we go. 
My turn? No, it's your turn. Thank you, dear, for making me burn my cards. You're welcome. Um, let's see, I'm gonna play Cave of Temptation. Dark Cave of Wonders. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is untapped. There we go. Um, okay, I see. I see, said the blind man. Goat nap! Go goat nap! All the goats are belong to me. I am disappointed that there's no goats in this. Um, they had a chance. I'm gonna go ahead and pass. <gasps> what effery is this? Yes, I would like to have blockers. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I got mana to burn. Oh boy. So I'm gonna do Geomancer's Gambit, where I get to destroy a land card. Yep. Because I am the target this turn. Okay. <laughs> and I get to search for a basic land card, and I can play it. No, oh, well, let me see if I read that right, because I'm screwing things up. Put it in the battlefield, then shuffle the library. Thank you. Okay, yes. I didn't screw it up that badly. <laughs> and then shuffle the library. And draw a card. And I took it from the bottom of my deck, but I'll shuffle anyway. All right, so now I draw a card. Ah, okay. All right, and I'm going to swing at you with my sliver. Okay. For two. I'm going to block. He has first strikes, so he kills your sliver before he dies. But now you take two damage. Yes, I do. I'm down to ten. <laughs> I get to keep my sliver. Stupid slivers. <laughs> is it my turn now? It is your turn now. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to draw a useless swamp, And I'm going to put it onto the... No, I'm not. I'm going to... You already did. I put it into the... Goat nap. Goat nap. I'm going to pass. Oh, good God. All right. <laughs> 10 to 18. Okay, hold on. Gotta put your little counter. Sorry. In there. Oh, God. Don't put her at 19, please. <laughs> Casting Firebolt for the flashback cost, so you get two damage directly um, to your person. I'm gonna exile the card and then put it back into play. Not to you. Huh? Not to your creature. You're dealing it to, the, to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Jesus. I take eight, or so I'm down to eight? Yeah. Good lord. <laughs> And okay. then exile it. Okay. But now it's your turn. Fine. Jeez. <laughs> Burn deck, man. God. I told you. Okay, so I'm going to play a land, and then I'm going to tap two for uh, Soul Strike Technique, which gives my sliver plus one, plus one, and Vigilance, so he does not tap. And then I'm going to swing at you for three. I'll take that. And then I'm going to play... Uazima's charm and make it take five instead because he gives plus two plus two is what I'm choosing Shouldn't you have done that first? That's an instant. Okay <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All right. Heart of the cards. Was it super hard of the cards? Maybe <laughs> It's got a lot of words on it. Oh, no <laughs> I cast scale up on my cute little girl. Oh son of a so scale up at until the end of the turn, target creature you control becomes a green worm with a base power and toughness of six of four. Yep. So. so <laughs> now, is that in addition to my two of two? No, it just turns it into a six four, I think. Because it said base, I figured. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, suck it. I'm attacking for six. Yeah, I'm going to take six. I'm going down to two. I know I should block here, but I only have one creature. And it's fine. It'll be okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. I prop. Is it my turn? It is your turn. I sir. have so much land. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Jesus Christ. So let's see here. Uh, three. I need to tap three for the spark, which is a flying two one. Okay. And if I had anything in my graveyard with power one or less, I could return it to my to the battlefield, and I can evoke him at some point. You may cast this spell for its evoke cost. If you do, it's sacrificed. When it enters the battlefield, I don't know why you would do that, but... Oh, because it would leave the battlefield. That's right. Yes. Um, I do not want to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to tap four to Sacrifice came Cave of Temptations and put two plus one counters on target creature. So I'm going to give one of my creatures plus two plus two. All right. And that is going to be my uh, fire. I'm surprised it wasn't your Lancer sliver. Yeah, he's okay. Oh, he's, okay. He's just chilling. I'm going to swing at you for four, five, six, seven. I'll take that. Thirteen minus seven. Six. Six. Uh, but this guy's got vigilance, so he doesn't tap. 
But my burb does. Wait, my burb can't attack this turn. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, so I take only what? You see, you're down to ten, not six. Look at you making me math. My bad. All right. My turn. Oh God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and I can do exactly jack all. Yes. Told you, taking that six damage for a reason. You're swinging at me. I'm gonna block. I know. He's a three three. There's not much else I can do. <laughs> well, you could have saved it. Well, yeah. It's not much else I can do. Could have you're saved you're gonna steamroll me in the next turn anyway. Let's see here. Nope, I got a freaking land. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna swing at you for four, five, six, seven. So you're down to three. Oh. Three to two. All right. All right. Hurry. Coming back with a vengeance, baby. Oh god. I swear to God, if you hit me for two damage with a freaking burn card. No. You're gonna. Maybe. Yep, I can feel it. <laughs> All right, uh, four, I can count! Okay, here we go. All right, bring him onto the battlefield. And he is excavating Enrid. Ooh, when, I'm not even gonna pronounce that name. Enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a land if you do draw a card. Threshold, as long as seven or more cards are in your graveyard, he gets plus one, plus one, and vigilance. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so he's a five, five with Vengeance, so he doesn't tap. But, that being said, getting rid of that, drawing a card. Everything is fine. Fireball! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't play land this turn, but I'm not going to. I don't have a reason to. Yeah. I mean, I can. There, I played a land. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna draw. You better end me this yes! turn. Yes! It doesn't matter, but I'm playing a sliver because I want to. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna swing at you for three flying and you die. Yay! Woo! You guys thought I was done at two life, didn't you?